In the name of Allah, good evening and welcome to this hour's news. I'm Suleiman Talash and this is RTA News. In the eighth meeting of the cabinet chaired by Mullah Muhammad Hassan Akhun, the Prime Minister of the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan, there was a discussion about the prevention of the import of low-quality oil. In this meeting, the delegation led by the head of the follow-up and supervision of orders and commands, Mr. Shamsuddin Shariati, was entrusted with the task of preventing the importation of low-quality oil into the country Accepting to the plan of economic deputy of a partial investigation and submit the final report to the cabinet meeting. Also, a delegation headed by the Ministry of Interior Affairs was entrusted with the task of making a plan related to the import of rickshaws to the country and traveling in the cities and to present the result to the cabinet meeting. The political deputy of the Prime Minister of the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan says that political representatives of the Islamic Emirate are active in 40 countries of the world. Mawlavi Abdul Kabir, in a meeting with some residents of Kapisa province, said that the Islamic Emirate is in the process of interacting with the many countries and hopes that its relations will be developed further with the passage of time. More details in report. In a meeting with the residents of Kapisa, Mulay Abdul Kabir, the political deputy of the Prime Minister of the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan, said that the relations of the Islamic Emirate with the countries of the world are developing and said that its political representatives are active in the 40 countries of the world. We have ambassador council and charge affair at the level of embassies in the country, and we have 14 active political agencies. The countries of the world which have recognized us at that time only Pakistan embassy was open here. Saudi Arabia and Emirat had no transfer their embassy here. Today, the embassies of the world such as Qatar, Emirates, Iran, Uzbekistan, Russia, China are open here. The political liberty of the Prime Minister also says that there is no hidden item in the Doha Agreement that endangers national and Islamic interests. We assure you that the Islamic Emirate has not accepted anything that Islam does not allow us to do in the original agreement with the American and Doha negotiation. Come forward and show me a word alike. The political deputy of the Prime Minister also said that the Islamic Emirate has made good achievements in the economic sector in the past three years. The Chief of Staff of the Ministry of National Defense, Qarif Fasiuddin Fatrat, says that the international community always criticized the Islamic Emirate under the pretext of human rights, but it is speechless against the qualities of the Zionist regime. For those false human rights organizations that daily martyr children, women, and elderly Muslims in Gaza and Lebanon, but do not raise the voice of human rights violation. They do not criticize Israel at all for this cruelty, but they always point their finger at us because the Islamic Emirates of Afghanistan is taking action to implement the Sharia system and what the Sharia says. This is why the officials of the current government have always said that the Islamic Emirate wants positive interaction with all countries of the world based on mutual respect. The Ministry of Mines and Petroleum says that a delegation led by engineer Wahidullah Halimi, the special advisor of the ministry, traveled to China to participate in the conference of, on the exploration of mineral resources and increased cooperation for a better future. The ministry added that representatives from more than 70 countries will take part in this conference. The Ministry of Motors and Disabled Affairs signed a memorandum of understanding with the Samarkand Social Service Organization of Afghanistan to promote economic self-sufficiency of widows. According to the agreement, sewing machines will be distributed to nearly 64 widows in Balkh province to enable them to become economically self-sufficient. 
About 40 people graduated from the 14th training period of the National Police Training Center in Kabul. According to officials, these people can now serve the government and the people in the professional field and request the newly graduate youths to treat the nation with compassion. We have more in the report. Third-year students graduated from the six-week training program of the 14th training period from the National Police Training Center Command in Kabul. According to officials, the Islamic Emirate is committed to creating such training programs in order to further strengthen the government. In the first period and then in the second and third period, the graduates which have graduated in these recent days we hope that they will serve the society and they will have a more positive role in their day-to-day -day work than other police officers uh, who have not received the training. At the same time, the trainers assured that the graduated youths are well equipped with the various military trainings along with the religious and devotional training. Many Mujahideen come here to study and Alhamdulillah, the trainers of this center are very experienced. We even have trainers here who have studied in seven or eight countries and have achieved high marks and are training here. On the other hand, the graduated students say that they are satisfied with their studies. There were driving lessons. There were launching lessons. Alhamdulillah, all of us are very satisfied from Allah and our trainers. So, inshallah, we have studied well. We have received a lot of good education and we are very satisfied with the teachers. We have received tactical, driving, computer and launching trainings here. Alhamdulillah, we are very satisfied. According to officials, in the last four months, more than 400 students have graduated from the Mansion Training Center and have been offered to serve the society. 223 young officers from the Central Divisions and Regional Corps of the Abdullah bin Masood Joint Combat Training Command of the Ministry of National Defense have received one of the extraordinary professional trainings of artillery communications Markinship and butter courses and graduated during a series of ceremonies. In the ceremony, the officials described the Defense Force as the guardian of Islamic and national values and added that the Army is equipped with intellectual and professional education. The employees of the National Statistics and Information Department who were distinguished in the sixth month examination of the head of invitation and guidance of this department were praised in a ceremony. In this ceremony, Maulavi Niaz Muhammad Abdul Shakur, head of invitation and guidance of the National Statistics and Information Department, while welcoming the de participants, reminded them of the important activities of this department where he congratulated and wished success to employees, especially the distinguished employees. Malavi Muhammad Nabi Wahaj, head of Mothers and Disabled Affairs of Paktika province, met with officials from UNAMA's political representation office in the southeast of the country. In this meeting, Malavi Muhammad Nabi Wahaj shared the economic problems and challenges facing orphans, widows, and disabled people with the officials of UNAMA's political representation office and asked them to provide necessary assistance to them. In the construction of an educational institution started in Tagab district of Kapisa province at the cost of 16 million Afghanis. The building is built in two floors with the financial support of Narayan Committee, which has 15 classrooms, a lawn, and other necessary facilities. The construction of a dam in Surkh Parse district of Parwan province worth 650,000 Afghanis from the budget of the Ministry of Finance was completed and put into use by the Rural Rehabilitation and Development Department of the province. According to local officials, dozens of jobs have been created during the project and hundreds of acres of agricultural land will be irrigated upon its completion. The final one is that the Disaster Preparedness Department of 
Kabul province distributed food aid to 200 families affected by natural disasters. According to officials, these aids include flour, rice, sugar, and some other items. Also in Parwan and Baghlan provinces, on the part of local directorates, preparedness to fight against the incidents of these provinces, cash and non-food aid was distributed to nearly 400 needy families. That's all for tonight. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good night.